Well, since February is American Heart Month, we're going to focus on foods that are healthy for your heart. This is Mary Snell. She's a registered dietitian with Marsh Supermarkets. Great to see you again, Mary. Hi, Scott. You brought salmon today, and we're talking about seafood. Why is this so good for our health? Well, the American Heart Association recommends that all Americans should consume about two servings of seafood every week. And seafood, partly because it is um, low in saturated fat. It's a lean protein, and it's also some of the fish samples I have here are high in omega-3s, which are heart-healthy fats. That is good. This is perhaps the best-looking piece of salmon I think oh, I've ever seen. Oh, wonderful. That looks so good. It does. And, and you've got it on a, uh, obviously on a bed of uh, a lettuce. Spinach. Well. A yes, spinach. Yes, it right. is. It actually is prepared in our marsh deli, so if you don't have time to cook some fresh or frozen salmon, stop by the deli and pick up something that's already been prepared. But salmon, when we think of omega-3s, everyone thinks of salmon as being the highest in the omega-3 heart healthy fats but I have a lot of customers that tell me they don't like the taste of salmon are there other options mm. and so I, I, I did definitely want to bring some other options so let's talk about them All right. what, what else did you bring well again if you can't have the fresh salmon that's available in the seafood market there's frozen there's smoked salmon this tastes wonderful on a piece of bagel in the morning again a great protein omega-3s and an economical choice there's canned salmon so um, there are different options in the whole salmon family but moving on, I've got some other fish that are also high in omega-3s. Yeah, why did you bring this in today? Oh, mackerel, again, is another one of those fish that's high in omega-3s. And these are those heart-healthy fats that we want to try to get into our diet. Mackerel doesn't sound good, but it is. It is. I guess there are a lot of people that really like it. It actually is. Again, an economical source. You can have that for lunch. Um, it's really just a great-tasting fish. What else did you bring in here? I have got herring here. This is, a, again, something that's overlooked, but it's interesting. When I was growing up, my grandfather would have herring probably every other day. So I was exposed to this as a young girl, high in omega-3s as well. Mm -hmm. Sardines as sardines. well. Sardines. I know some people think sardines, but they also are another source of omega-3s. And these are those heart-healthy fats that have been shown to reduce cardiovascular risk. Are there some fish that do a little bit better job in terms of improving our heart, or, do, or are they all good? Well, you know, all seafood is good because, again, it's lean, it's low in saturated fat. And so certainly we want to incorporate things like tilapia and catfish and cod. But these fattier fish here, these are the ones that have the higher levels of omega-3s. What about how we prepare our fish? Does, it, does that change how it's going to help us? Oh, it really does. And I know a lot of people think, well, I have a breaded fish sandwich for lunch every day. That unfortunately doesn't count because we are frying and adding too many calories. Grilling it, broiling it. Um, just sort of um, pan frying in a little bit of canola oil and squeezing some lemon over it mm. is one of the best ways to serve fish. All right, so fish is good for your health, and uh, Mary Snell is with us every week here on Thursday on Eyewitness News at Noon.